All right, people, welcome back. More card reviews. So today we are looking at number 37. Hope, woven, dragon, spider, shark, cow, pig, chicken. Like, what, what is this thing? Everything. It's just a, an amalgamation of every single thing. But no, seriously, dragon, spider, shark. Like, all right. That sounds scary. That really does. Like, if a uh, fucking if a dragon, spider, shark came after me, I'd probably be dead. Because <laughs> <laughs> there's no way. <laughs> Like, oh my god, but seriously, uh, that, that that name though, that name though, uh, it is a water sea serpent XC effect type monster, rank 4, 2600 attack, 2100 defense, so over the attack barrier, not bad, not bad, made with two level 4 water monsters, so not generic, not generic, but uh, there's one particular deck I'm thinking that can make it, yep, you already know, that Atlantean Mermail, god, yeah, I mean, they already make the Dweller and the 101, so, you know, why not this, <laughs> they can. But is it worth it? Let's go ahead and see. So, uh, when any player's monster declares an attack, you can detach one XC material from this card. All monsters your opponent currently controls lose 1,000 attack until the end of this turn. So whether you're going after them or they're coming after you, judge XC material, make your opponent lose 1,000 attack. Yeah, let's go with that. Just 1,000. That's not. That's nothing to scoff at. That really isn't. 1,000 attack drop, that, that's pretty huge. So that's pretty good. And... Of course, you go ahead and detach that uh, Dragoons, and that Dragoons will get his effect. Like, oh my god. Just, mm, mm. But th that's not all. When this card is destroyed by battle or by card effect, not even by your opponent, just destroyed by battle or by card effect, and sent to the graveyard, you can target one other monster in your graveyard. Special summon it. Yeah, it's a monster reborn. Yep, it's a fucking, well, not a monster reborn, because you can't revive out of your opponent's graveyard. But, uh,. Any monster in your graveyard, any monster you want in your graveyard, go ahead and summon it again. Not even with its effect negated. So, yes, yes, I already know you guys, your guys' the eyes are getting all wide and you're like, no, yes. You can go, instead of you can summon Norden, Norden ex summon Dragoons, exceed into this, then when this dies, it will revive you Norden, Norden will revive you back Dragoons, you can exceed into another one of this, like, <laughs> like, oh my god. You can only use the effect, you can only use each effect of number 37 once per turn. Yes, yes, you can do the shenanigans. Like, if if, if Norden and the whole Instafusion thing didn't need to get addressed already, this is already proof enough. Like, no, 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 no. Because that is some stupid shenanigans right there. Like, holy crap. <laughs> so, no. That, that That is some crazy shit. So, yeah. One of the, thing, one of the two things need to happen. I really don't care. Either Instafusion gets limited down to one so to lower the consistency, or you're just like, you know what, fuck it, let's just copy LCG and Norden gets banned. Either way, I do not care, but one of the two needs to happen, because Norden is already still ridiculous. But then we get this thrown in with his shenanigans too, especially with the shenanigans of Atlanteans, Atlantean Mermel and all their shenanigans too, like, no, thank you. Like, fucking Norden, just go the fuck away. If Norden, if Norden is gone, then I seriously doubt. This card goes from, like, wow, this is ridiculous, to not really playable. So I wouldn't mind that, but wow. So tell me what you uh, first. You know what? Tell me what you guys think about this card. Like, do you think that if this card came on the TCG and stuff like that, would uh, Lantia Marmo play it? And second, what do you think should happen to Norton? Do you think that Norton should be hit? Do you think Institution should be hit, or do you think that they're both okay and fine? We should just keep them both at three. I don't know. You guys tell me in the comment section below. So I hope that you guys enjoy this card review. So thanks for watching. Thanks for the support. I will of course be back Wednesday with another card to look at, and uh, yeah, look forward to it. Thanks for watching.